Corbin, uh, although um, you know your teammate didn't uh, make the, the free, th free throws in the final, um, you know seconds to seal the victory. What can you say about his uh, poise throughout the whole game? Oh man, Derek. I mean, like he's a freshman, man. He he he's playing great. He's definitely growing up out there on the court. You know, he he grinded out. He missed two free throws, and he kept his head. He showed a lot of character out there tonight. What are your thoughts during those final seconds when the ball is on the floor and everybody's kind of scrambling around? Uh, coach, he wanted us to get every 50-50 ball, so my mindset was that one of our teammates was going to dive on the floor and we was going to come out with that ball. I thought uh, I thought we showed a lot of growth in tonight's game. I thought uh, that was really a truly a, a, a program win. I thought our guys uh, really grinded this game out. You know, we had guys step up all over the place. You know, um, you know, guys like PJ Torres had a tremendous first half, and Martin Zables gave us big minutes. Sean was great in the first half, and he cramped up. We had some young guys step up. Um, it looked for a little bit there like we were trying to give it away. We had some wackiness happen in the game, you know, more out of excitement, I think, with a younger team, uh, an inexperienced team. But, you know, it, it came down to a 50-50 ball late, and we beat them to the floor to get to that. And I think that kind of um, summed it up. I thought the guys really scrapped. They really, really played hard. And I talk about everybody all the way down the line. I thought guys made, made some really – Really tough plays and made plays to win this basketball game. You impressed with the young guys there in the last ten minutes, basically without Sean. To... Yeah, when you when you look at that, having three freshmen on the floor in crunch time and those guys all making plays, whether it was Quevin making big baskets, uh, you know, Derek Colt is disappointed that he missed those free throws. But come on, without that kid, we wouldn't have been in that situation. And Jeremiah Jones is coming up big defensively. Um, I, I thought. You know, to throw those guys. For those guys to have to make plays like that, I think we grew a lot as a team today. Whether we were going to win or lose in the end, those guys making plays in there, I think that was huge for us. Coach Gray, although uh, Derek didn't hit those um, final uh, free throws in the, in the last few seconds, what can you say about his play? Uh, I thought he was tremendous. I mean, he made big threes. He made big basket. He made a big floater when I think we were down uh, one at a point. And, and they all, all those freshmen made some really big plays. And it's a freshman point guard. And, you know, he's disappointed that he didn't make his free throws. And as a point guard, they got to make the free throws. And I'm sure he'll be in the gym tomorrow morning shooting free throws. That's what Derek is. But um, it's okay. You know, we just kept talking about the next play. Like, even when Martins was so excited for the and one. And, you know, he's seven feet tall. So when the ball comes from that high down, it, it goes up. And he felt so bad about it. But all we just kept talking about each huddle was this next play. Just let's, let's get to the next play. If we turn it over, let's just move over to the next play. And I thought the kids really did a great job with that. Yeah, you know, especially these guys, they really don't like they don't even know that they should be, you know, a little concerned. They're just out there playing basketball, you know, and that's what we talked about when, when, when we went into overtime. The guys had their heads down a little bit and I was just like, hey, guys, we get to play this game for five more minutes. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Let's just keep playing, you know, and, and freshmen kind of picked the head up because they thought maybe I was going to be disappointed or something. I don't know But we get to we get to play the game for five more minutes. And I thought they just played basketball. And they scrapped. And I think that's something. If you can get young kids this age to play like that and scrap like that, you know, I think we're heading in the right direction. And believe me, we got a long, long, long way to go. But for everybody to step up like they did tonight, I thought it was a great program win. One game uh, scored three with a minute, 30 seconds left in overtime. Were you pretty confident heading into the rest of the game? No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> did you see that game? <laughs> But what was nice is we talked about it because Kadeem was running straight down the middle of the court. And we told him, you're at the five right now. Just get lost. And he did. He just trailed the play. And they five and didn't know where he was. And he, he let it go. And I thought that was, a, was a, you know, a heart shot right there. He really had a you know, set take that one. It was good. So Sean's injury was just cramps? Yeah. It appears to be cramps. You know, we got a quick turnaround um, you know, to play again tomorrow. So we're going to see uh, where he's at. The team showed more heart? Yeah, I, I absolutely. I thought that that's what this win was. It was a lot of heart. You know, we were in two tough battles. We lost on the road at Albany. Uh, we lost a heartbreaker at Georgetown on a free throw miss. Um, obviously, no one else was able to hear it, but our huddles were fantastic. Just hearing the guys talk to each other about 
one stop, one rebound, you know, helping each other out. If someone just made a mistake, don't worry about it. I got your back. Like, you know, that, that, that's special when the kids are starting to talk and really come around each other like that. I think you're starting to head in the right direction. No. No. No, not at all. I thought we fouled a lot. Too much. All right, thanks.